The functions of the cells in the human body need to be continuously regulated. However, the nerve fibers of the neural system do not innervate all the body's cells. Therefore, the function of regulating the body's cells is performed by the hormones secreted by the endocrine system. The endocrine system, in association with the neural system, functions in a coordinated way to maintain the physiological functions of the body. Both the endocrine and the nervous systems collectively form the neuroendocrine system of the body and the combined study of these two systems is called neuroendocrinology. Did you know that endocrinology is a branch of medicine dealing with the study of the endocrine glands and the actions of their hormones? Thomas Addison, an English physician and scientist, is popularly known as the father of endocrinology. The human endocrine system consists of various endocrine glands present in different parts of the body. The forebrain houses the hypothalamus, which is the basal part of the diencephalon. Just below the hypothalamus is a small, pinkish, P-shaped gland called the pituitary gland, also known as the master gland of the endocrine system. Another gland located on the dorsal side of the forebrain is the pineal gland, which is a small, reddish-gray gland shaped like a pine cone. The neck has the largest endocrine gland in the body, the thyroid gland. It lies on the ventral and lateral sides of the upper part of the trachea. The thyroid gland has four P-shaped glands embedded wholly or partially in its dorsal surface. These glands are called the parathyroid glands. Just above the heart, a soft, pinkish, bilobed mass of lymphoid tissue is present called the thymus gland. In the loop of the duodenum is located an elongated yellow-colored gland called the pancreas, the second largest endocrine gland in our body. On the upper border of both the kidneys lie the adrenal glands, which are yellowish and triangular in shape. The gonads are also endocrine glands. In males, the scrotal sac bears the gonads, which is a pair of testes, while in females, the abdomen bears the gonads, which is a pair of ovaries. The endocrine glands pour their secretions directly into the venous blood for passage to different body organs to control and coordinate their functions. Due to the absence of ducts, the endocrine glands are also known as ductless glands and the secretions of these glands are called hormones. Hormones are non-nutrient chemical messengers secreted in trace amounts by glands or neurons. They are soluble in water and blood and most hormones come into contact with essentially all the cells as they circulate in the blood. However, each hormone usually affects only a limited number of cells called target cells where it regulates a definite physiological effect. A target cell responds to a hormone because it bears receptors for that hormone. A hormone receptor is a receptor protein that binds to a specific hormone. These hormone receptors are found either on the surface of a cell or within its cytoplasm, depending on the type of hormone. Cells that do not have receptors cannot be directly influenced by that hormone. Moreover, hormone secretions are induced by a stimulus and have an activating influence on the neighboring or distant tissues. 
The hormones are degraded by tissues and are excreted by the liver into bile and by the kidneys into urine. Hormones are also secreted by the exocrine glands such as the salivary glands, sweat glands and sebaceous glands. These glands, in contrast to endocrine glands, release their secretions through ducts and are hence called duct glands. There are also a few glands in the human body such as the pancreas and gonads that have both exocrine and endocrine properties. These glands are known as heterocrine glands. In these glands, the exocrine part releases its secretions through ducts, while the endocrine part releases its hormones directly into the blood. In addition to these glands and organs, hormones are also secreted by the gastrointestinal tract, liver, kidneys and heart. Thus, the human endocrine system, along with the exocrine and heterocrine glands, helps in the control and coordination of the body.